sorry. Xbox players cry and cope over God of War Ragnarok in my tweets. Here we go. Wait, did I not buy this? Huh? <laughs> I wouldn't be proud of that fact, but yeah, I guess she did. Did I not buy the game? Did I not buy the PS5? Do I just get no say so? Is that what y'all think? Now, you already know I'm going to get the most expensive edition that they have. I'm going to get the most. <laughs> Remember when this man was like, I'm a prisoner to Sony. I'm going to buy the most expensive edition that they have. Rickenzie with the two of this game has sellable cards. Tell Oh, that's a good point. Let's see. Does it have trading card support? <gasps> oh my god. Guys, we need to cancel this game right now. This game has NFTs in it. Holy shit, dude. That is a good call, Rickenzie. This game literally supports the evil practice of NFTs. I am so disappointed in Mark because Steam trading cards are literally fucking NFTs. <laughs> like in their truest fucking form. That is literally fucking an NFT. It's a transferable, non fungible token that has real world value attached to it. Uh oh. Yikes. You know, those are perfectly fine, but if they're stored on the blockchain, no bueno. Most expensive edition that they have. I don't know. I haven't even looked at it. I saw that. Yo, play the fucking clip from uh, The Dark Knight. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Well, this hero just became the villain, guys. This is not a very happy, um, big chungus, uh, <laughs> breathtaking Reddit moment. That it uh, had a, uh, I, I see a, saw a glance that it's a hammer. What the, do we have a hammer? What I'm thinking, you want to know what I think? I think actually, I think that uh, the figurine is not actually a hammer. That's what I think. I think the figurine is probably better than a hammer, but they can't, but it's a, but it's a leak. It'll leak a, a story, a, you know, a plot point in the game. Cause remember. No, they literally fucking unboxed it when they did that with spider-man the figurine that they had they're like hey we have we can't show it really because it's gonna you know a leak a plot point in the game why would that matter because literally everybody doing a fucking unboxing video of the collector's edition would spoil it anyway i think what they've done instead is that they've shown a hammer right yo honestly that would be like the best fucking job like that motherfucker unbox therapy has the easiest fucking YouTube channel on planet earth. He literally gets free shit sent to him, literally just opens it up on camera, turns it on for a few minutes and makes fucking bank. That is the type of channel I would want a product showcase channel. That is literally the easiest fucking shit on planet earth. Yeah, unboxing videos are still very big, bro. There's like ASMR unboxing videos now that are fucking huge. But yeah, no, that shit's still a thing. <coughs> because they can't. Yo, I wonder if. The Yo, there's. I think I showed you guys this channel before on stream. But there's this fucking really weird guy <laughs> who does unboxing videos. All right, let's see. <laughs> like, look at all of his thumbnails, bro. <laughs> Hold on. He doesn't upload any. Oh, did he delete all his videos? No. Fuck, dude. Fuck. Bro, this guy used to make the cringiest fucking YouTube videos on planet Earth. Did he nuke his channel? That's fucking sad. Like, every single thumbnail was literally him with the fucking soy face <laughs> holding up a fucking video game or some shit. Like, let, let me just see if he has his intro in this shit. 
Yo, yo, what are you to this? Me, Papa G Fun Boss, everybody. <laughs> Today I got another first hit. There's the fucking intro, dude. It used to be a little more energetic, but you kinda you gotta get the idea. Yo, yo, what are you to this? Me, Papa G Fun Boss, everybody. Today I got another what the fuck? Yob Yob. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Poppy G Funk. Was her body like, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, yo, what are YouTube? It's me, Poppy G Funk. What's her body? Today, I got another. Fr <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. But like, every single video was like the fucking soy face, like that. I don't know. I kind of want to know what happened. Yo, yo, what are you to miss me, Papa G Fun? What's up, buddy? Damn, it feels good to say that once again. But, um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me on YouTube, not YouTube, wait, 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 on IG and Twitter. Hey, what happened to the YouTube channel? Basically, if you guys don't know by now, my YouTube channel got taken down. Yes, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, this dude used to buy, like, falling off the back of a truck copies of video games and try to upload gameplay before the release date. And I'm guessing that's the reason why his channel got taken down. Today I'm going to tell you guys what happened. So pretty much, my main channel is gone. My gameplay channel is gone as well. And uh, that was due to me uploading FIFA 22 beta gameplay. Yeah, beta gameplay, right? Not leaked gameplay, beta. So um, I didn't know this, but um, I guess EA, um, since they're getting so much backlash... They're getting so much hate from fans basically saying that it's the same game that pretty much is pay to win. Or you didn't fucking read the terms of getting the fucking beta. Um, so all these things that they're pretty much getting, I'm thinking that EA is not taking it more serious and um, they're taking down channels. Uh, whoever uploads FIFA 22 beta gameplay, pretty much the channel got taken down. I don't know, but... Um, for How much you guys want to bet he didn't fucking read the... Um embargo details who wants to put money on that shit 10 years of me doing youtube videos this dude literally like he always used to get early copies that he obviously just bought from some person who stole them from a store and then would upload early gameplay footage all the fucking time so this is not a a new thing just never once he ate taking down a video on my gameplay channel so to me it was new i didn't see it coming because i uploaded those videos like i got those take i got those videos taken down three weeks later i uploaded them so it was kind of weird but whatever my gameplay channel got taken down and i didn't know this but once your gameplay channel is linked to any other channel let's say if it's a main channel that channel goes with it as well so my gameplay no shit channel got taken down my main channel went down as well which kind of sucks so I can't go on YouTube, search up the Papa G Funk, and uh, watch my old videos. I can't even do that. <laughs> he might not be able to read after hearing that fucking intro <laughs> anymore. So it sucks, but I want to thank my girlfriend. I want to thank my family for supporting me and uh, you know encourage me as well to come back on YouTube, do it again, start fresh, and that's pretty much probably what I need. You know, S start fresh, start. Doesn't fucking upload again. <laughs> new again forget about you know all that stress i had in my main channel you know because i did you know once you have a certain amount of subscribers or certain amount of things that you have to do it just it's just stress you know when it becomes work it sucks um when youtube is a hobby it, it's fun but when it becomes work it just it just kind of goes keep in mind this man literally opened up video game cases for a living like, this is what he considers work, bro. Opening a fucking video game case and reading the back of the case. That is literally what his fucking content was. <laughs> that is it. And he had, like, 300,000 subs or something pretty crazy. Goes downhill. So, um, I'm happy that um, I don't have that stress anymore. I don't, I don't have to be, I guess, constantly uploading videos or doing things for brands, things like that. Because even though I like working with... Damn, man, I hate getting free shit and getting paid to open up stuff by brands. That shit fucking sucks, dude. Brands, it, it's oh. hard, it's hard, it's really hard. So, um... <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, 
I'm able to do my own thing, start fresh again, and that's probably what I need. So if you guys want to support your boy once again, subscribe to this channel. And um, just want to give you guys a quick video, let you guys know what happened. And um, I'm back. I'm back on YouTube, and um, I'm back with my original username. Yes. So um, I started YouTube 16 years ago. He's back with his original username, bro. I think with my original name which is papa g funk then i deleted it and i started again with the papa g funk which got taken down <laughs> so his original name is literally his channel's name without the fucking the in front of it it's the same shit dude and um now i'm back with papa g funk so that's actually pretty cool so i got my old username back on youtube so that's kind of fun so um i'm starting again fresh got new videos coming soon i got far cry 6 early so stay tuned <laughs> Like, like I just said, guys, like I just said, he gets shit like early copies of games that fell off a truck, opens them up on camera, and then tries to upload early footage to get a fuck ton of views. For those unboxed coming soon, I got giveaways coming soon as well. I got a bunch of things coming soon. Oh, yeah. I can't forget about the fake fucking giveaways, too. A channel. So if you guys want to keep supporting your boy Papa G Funk, you guys like my unboxings, my reviews, my giveaways, things like that, support your boy and subscribe to the channel. And um let's get this channel to the next level. We can do it. We can do it. I got high hopes for this channel, so hopefully we can do that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys <laughs> did, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and um I'm back and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. But yeah, I don't know why I just thought about that shit. Can't show the actual, uh, the actual figurine. That's what I would, that's what I think. Cause that hammer looked goofy as That There's no way you go from, uh, if we're gonna be honest, there's no way you go from, uh, this, look at that, look at that shit, look at that. It looks like crap, honestly. I don't like video game figurines. Especially when they're like in motion like that, because then it just makes it look even worse. Boy, look at that sh, bruh. There's no way you go from this to a motherfucking hammer. That's not how that works, bruh. I'm just letting. I think it is how it works. You know, you don't go from this to a fucking hammer. All right. That is not how you do it. Okay. And That's how they're doing it. Anybody trying to talk about a fucking hammer? Oh, it's Thor's hammer. I don't give a fuck whose hammer it is. Unless Thor, unless that. Oh shit! I forgot. I need to. Waffle Reaper with five. What's up, gamers? Just got a free bottle of Everclear. So I guess my friends want me to. Die. Ew, bro! Everclear. Mm. Yeah, no, that's 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 pretty nasty. <laughs> An Alamania crayon with the five. Griffin, guess how many gigabytes of penises are in the French Constitution? Um, I have no idea. That nigga autographed it himself. That is not, that's called a downgrade. You don't go from this to a fucking hammer, pimping. All right, so that's what I'm praying. <laughs> He's I'm praying. praying. Okay. He doesn't want the hammer, bro. I'm praying that they're holding out. When it comes to the figurine, Xbox were so upset. They were crying, bruh. They've been trying to message me, bruh. Bru I blocked so many people today. It's been insane. So many fucking kids. Listen, if you still got your mom's titties, milk breath on you, bruh, please stop messaging me with this stupid corny shit, bruh. Please. That's all I ask. All these fucking kids. First off, I gotta do another video. What the fuck is going on with the gaming community? Y'all act like a bunch of bitches. Like a bunch <laughs> That's of ironic. Bunch of limp wristed bitches, bro. I don't get what this is. I'm used to a gaming community where they be like, yo, I miss you know used to twisted metal. Niggas who would play that. Now you niggas are playing Paw Patrol and shit. Talking about, well, Lucas, why can't we all just have fun? Why can't we all just play game? Why can't we all just enjoy? What the the mind of a mentally stable individual. What is this shit? I come from a different age when men. <laughs> oh shit, dog. What are men? Okay. Not these 
fucking soy boy Milko and let's get along. No. Oh, now he's fucking Russian. Damn, Lucas the commie. Okay. PlayStation was in competition with Xbox. And it was good. Competition breeds excellence. Now we have, you know, girly men talking about, you know, my pronouns. No. Very bad. Very bad for country. Okay? <laughs> you have pronouns in bio. Please do not at me. Okay? Don't at me if you have pronouns in bio. Bear me pain. Pain on Oh my on fucking head. god, dude. A lot from these ex-bussy warriors. These ex-bussy people talking about. Lucas loves his ex-bussy. Oh, why you harass developers? Harass developers? The fucking PlayStation bussies were the ones, you know, harassing the developers. Let's not forget about the fucking dick pics. You know, let's gloss over that one. The wonderful behavior from PlayStation fanboys. I still think it was JTEC, bro, because there's only one PlayStation fanboy we know for a fact has sent fucking his dick to random women on the internet, and that person is JTEC. So I have a feeling it was him. What? What do you talk about? What do you mean, harass developers? These motherfuckers are trying to say that I was, I was advocating for harassing developers. I was like... How the f did y'all come up with that f***ing conclusion? These mofos put out a tweet, right? I put out a tweet and they try to... So poo-poo with the two. Appreciate it, man. That's, that's, you know, that's a very suiting amount, bro. Poo-poo and two. Well played, sir. G-Funk at one point had a G2A sponsorship. Enough said. Yeah, I've been offered that sponsorship like a fucking million times. I've had two bad experiences with G2A. Probably 20 good ones, but even then, just because I've had bad experiences, I would never fucking advertise for them, personally. In HD 101 with the 2, have you seen the new Splatoon 3 Switch design? Yeah, I've seen it. I'm not really the biggest fan, but I may buy one just to leave it sealed, and then in 10 years, it may be worth something. A quote tweet me, because the tweet was uh, Corey Barlog, and I really don't give a f about Corey Barlog, all right? I think, to be honest with you, People who say God of War 1 was a masterpiece, no, I don't believe that. All right? I believe him having a kid with his head. I do not believe, let me just put this out here, for people who want to say T Sony Pony and all that sh God of War 3 is a fucking masterpiece. That is the best God of War game and probably will always be the best God of War game. No, I don't believe God of War uh, on the PS5 was anything special, just to be honest with you. All that fucking one cut, that shit is gimmicky. What the fuck is that? Why do I give a fuck about one cut? I think the story was utter fucking shit. Drivel. The story that they should have played, should have told us, they didn't. And that's the story of how Kratos met this fucking woman. Agreed. Right? And then ends up having a child by this woman. Yep. That's the story they should have told us. And then in the sequel, we get to have, we then get to experience the kid with us. But so Yo, Lucas actually come up with a base take. I really don't give a f what Corey Barlock says to begin with. All right. I think the nigga's balls fell off. All right. <laughs> That's just me. Okay. I'm hoping uh, that this sequel is going to be some good. Sh I'm hoping that they took in the criticism that was presented to them from the first one and fix some. Sh and I had a plenty of criticism for the first game. Boss fights, absolute dog sh the best boss fight in God of War on the PS5 was Boulder. Yeah, all right. You know, Lucas is spitting fucking facts here. The boss fights in God of War 2018 were extremely fucking weak. And that was the first boss fight. Okay. Yep, and everyone after that fucking sucked, including the second fight against him. Okay. Everywhere, everyone else in between, trash. Absolute garbage. You compare the boss fights of God of War PS5 to God of War 3. God of War 2, even God of War 1. We can even Agreed. go to God of War Ascension. Get the f*** out of here. No comparison. Yep. All four of those games are better boss fights. 100%. A W for PlayStation is always an L for Xbox because they stay just with Ls. And then I've managed, you know, to, to garner the scorn of the PC f***ing incels. The PC peasants. Lord. 
These fucking PC peasants can blowing up my fucking mention. Blowing them up. <laughs> oh, we're going to get it. We can't wait to the PC port. Bitch, you are going to wait four years for a game? Nigga, I won't even wait 15 minutes for my bitch. Do you think I'm waiting four years to play a game? His bitch. I'm, I'm going to press X to download that one. You niggas is sad, sad, sad. Fucking sad. What is going on in PC world, bruh? Y'all niggas really got nothing to play that you excited for a PC port four years from now? <laughs> Nigga, get your shit together. I know the world of Warcraft and League of Legends must be boring as 2080, you got going on liquid cooling system to play fucking Minecraft. Like, nigga, get the fuck out of my face. I don't even want to talk to you PC fucking peasants. And they're not even PC elites. <laughs> Here's what people have. They have you thinking that PC is elite gaming. These niggas is the most broke motherfuckers on the planet, bruh. These niggas is making their PCs just to save parts. Just to save... Bruh. <laughs> Maybe, but not me. That's for fucking sure. Money. This nigga, I just... I, can I use this, Lucas? Can I use this? What the fuck you want this for? I can use this as, like, to boost the CPU or some shit. I can just cut it off. <laughs> Always got lights all over the fucking place. Nigga, what the fuck is lights doing? You got more lights than you have fucking PC. I was saying that, hey, it's real simple. Uh, give us what you, give us what we want. All right, give us what we want, and there won't be any problems. Capiche? And these fucking milk breath fucking in fucking incels oh you're you're promoting harassment of the developers you're promoting harassment of the developers da, da, da. i'm like what the f are you talking about i'm promoting harassment of the developers here's what niggas clearly don't understand this is i guess lucas is getting a taste of what the fucking playstation fanboys are actually like now maybe it'll open his eyes and zhong jina with d2 this dude thinks we care. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This video is not too bad, actually. This is one of his better ones. This is why I say this new era of gaming people can incels and, and fanooks. All right. Thank you to the for giving that one. And I'm not really about it, bro. I'm not really about it. Okay. Everything, everything's so sensitive. These niggas is so sensitive, bro. So sensitive. I told one, one guy said some stupid shit. I said, your mom sucks my balls. Oh, oh, real professional. Nigga, what the fuck are you, I'm not running for Congress. What the fuck are you talking about, real professional? Please don't fucking talk to me about some stupid shit about harassment. <laughs> You're harassing the developers. Listen, fuck these developers. Let me just put that out there. Fuck these motherfuckers. They work for me, bitch. Smoke show with the five lol L take Lucas. We waited four years for God of War PC because they decided only recently to release games on PC. Last of Us remake coming next year to PC. Yeah, and the Spider Man game came out what two years after the release. So yeah, that window is closing very quickly. Wilson Gal with the two love to see he censored the F word but not the N word. Yeah, well I mean he is black so YouTube's not gonna fucking ban him for it. So, I don't know. Although, you don't really get banned for saying it, even if you're white. It's only if you drop the hard R, bro. But even then, I don't think you really get banned. I think you just get demonetized or age-restricted. They work for motherfucking me. Don't you ever get that shit twisted. I don't know what the fuck it is, you motherfuckers going out there, you consumers, jerking off developers. Bitch, what? They need to be jerking me off. Agreed, man. I want Corey to get on his hands and knees and get the fucking spit shine on that. He's spitting facts. Yeah, I agree, man. This is a pretty base take right now. I keep them in business. Say it then? No, I'm not fucking retarded. Business. They produce good sh I reward them for, them for it. That's how this dynamic works. Developer. Says the dude going out and buying the most expensive version of the game by fucking default. They have families of crunch time. They, they, they. Bitch, if you don't like crunch time, then fucking leave your goddamn job. Any 100% agree. Based fucking Lucas. Anybody who's ever been a part of the gaming community 
or any any type of game development knows you are going to face crunch time. Anybody who has a fucking job in general with deadlines knows you're going to face crunch time. Because guess what? You have milestones to hit and deadlines to, 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 to reach. All right? If, you, if it's too hot in the kitchen, get your fucking ass out of here. I'm tired of this bitch. Fuck yeah, dude. Bitch made fucking goddamn bullshit from these developers. Always bitching and crying. Bitch, find another fucking profession then. What, what fucking industry do you think you're not going to face some difficulty or some challenge? Yo, do I need to make a video titled I Agree with the Amazing Lucas? <laughs> because this is actually a really good fucking take. You should be sucking our dick for giving you feedback, you stupid mother. Who the who do you think tests your games? Huh? Who do you think tests your games and gives you feedback? Hey, there's a bug here. Hey, this isn't working here. All right, we made you motherfuckers. When it comes to Santa Monica. Uh, uh, we made you bitches. All right? We fucking made you niggas. All right? We kept you pushing yourself to the limit. You came out with one game. We were like, all right, good, but you can do better. They were like, you know what? We sure fucking can't. Let's push it again. Came out with another game. We were like, this shit is fire, but you can do better. They were like, you know what? They right. There are ways we can tweak this and make this better. Came out. That's how the fucking process works. You stupid fucking children. I'm tired of you fucking under 25 stupid little kids talking about New York Rangers developers. They got families too. Bitch, we all got families. What the f*** are you talking about, nigga? But you have a job to do. Do the fucking job. Put in the fucking work. All right? What the f*** are you talking about? You know why you want the developers? If me saying I don't give a f*** about yeah, I just, like, I really don't fucking understand why all these, well, wait a second, I might have an explanation. Yeah, I just really, it makes me wonder why, like, all these people just defend game developers and act like they're these poor, sweet, little, innocent creatures that should never have to face any adversity. It's almost like... I don't know, man. I'm kind of getting a vibe from those type of people. And it may go a little bit something like this. I have a UT. Yo, wait, I think it's even better after this. Let's be friends and play a game. There we go, play I a game. Seem different, but we're the same. <laughs> but yeah, I think it might have something to do with that. What you have to do to complete the game is harassing the developers, then you're fing brain dead. You're a fing retard with no life experience. Is this what y'all. Uh, Lucas, I think it may be a little deeper than that. We both have eyes. Why the fuck? Here we go. I think it may have to do with this. I have a U T I S M. I have a U T I S M. Autism. Don't be scared of me. Don't be scared of me. Cause we're the same. You and me. Don't be scared of me, bro. Like, what the fuck? It's this fucking bitch singing about her autistic kid. <laughs> Bro, why are, I didn't know that um autistic kids and like instilled fear in the hearts of men. Like the fuck. <laughs> oh my god, bro. So Keith with the five, I don't know, but when he says he's gonna buy the most expensive version, so like Sony looks at that and it's like, well, he's gonna buy the game anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's fucking dumb as shit. Producing in schools nowadays. Stop harassing me. I'm in a safe space. I'm sorry. Did I not buy this? Huh? Did I not buy the game? Did I not buy the PS5? 
Do I just get no say so? Is that what you all think? I just bend over for 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 Sony. Is that what it is? I I bend over for Santa Monica. I bend over for 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 Insomniac. That's what it is. Is that how you think this dynamic works? You stupid. No, nigga. Upon me purchasing this, I got motherfucking demands. That's how that shit works. Upon me purchasing this, shit, I got motherfucking demands. And if you want to keep a customer, then you need to listen to my motherfucking demands. That's how you should be thinking as a consumer. Instead of trying to jerk them off because of all oh, the developers. Bitch, the developers work for you. You're a boss, whether you know it or not. And you pay with your money. Do you not? Do you not? No, it, it may not be their money, man, because, again... Those social security checks coming in clutch. You know, it would make a lot of sense if on, like, in mass, the majority of console fanboys had a form of autism where the only thing they have to do every single day is sit on fucking Twitter because they have no job and they get a government check every month that pays for everything they need. So there we have the explanation, guys. This is how fanboys are able to exist. They sit at home, collect their social security checks, live on fucking Twitter, retardedly defending their favorite piece of plastic. It like It's literally all coming to fucking together now. The complete puzzle has been put together. And yes, that is kind of ironic because the Autism Speaks logo is literally a fucking puzzle. But anyway, that's beside the point. It all fucking makes sense now. Can pay? Whether it's digital or physical copy, is that do you not do that? Cause I'm unaware. Are you niggas pirating PS5 games or some shit? Is that what the fuck is going on? I know the PC community does that. That's why they can't wait for our games to reach their trash freaking uh 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 whatever it is, their boxes, bruh. They're freaking uh uh <laughs> They're light display boxes. So they can pirate them. I don't pirate PS5 games. I bought every single one and I've supported every single quality developer. Sometimes when a developer is so good, I don't even need to see gameplay. I support them because I know they've given me quality content time and time and time again. Now, upon with this symbiotic relationship, you give me quality games. I give you my fucking money. There is criticism, all right? There is constructive criticism. That's how that shit works. Hey, I love the game, but this is what you can do in the sequel. This is how it could have been better. So, like, this is what I didn't like. The first half of this video was fucking horseshit. But this, like, last half is really good, actually. <laughs> I gotta give Lucas credit, man. With the game. And it's the job of the developer to take that criticism. The good, the bad, and the fucking ugly, and refine their fucking product. If you niggas just want to suck the dick of developers, you're not, you're going to get that. That's all you're going to get is their fucking cock in your mouth. Now, some of Ooh. you niggas are happy with that. That's fine. I'm not talking to you. All right. Some of you niggas got a dick in your mouth while you're playing fucking Sea of Thieves. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, that's a fucking picture. Crap Gamer be like. You do you. All right. Remember when Crap Gamer said uh, Sea of Thieves was the best game of the entire generation? There you go. But I'm not looking to jerk off a fucking developer. I'm looking for them to give me quality content that constantly gets better than the last product that they put out. Some of you niggas will never be anything. Because you, you're too scared to criticize. You're too scared to feel uncomfortable. I really don't. That's right, man, because. I have A-U-T. I-S-M. I have A-U-T. I-S-M. Autism. 
that may be why they're afraid. I don't give a. You put out a trash game. Guess what? I don't buy it. It's that simple. When it came, I don't know why you niggas get like amnesia or some. Sh because when it came to The Last of Us, what were niggas talking about? I'm not gonna buy this. Look at how they disrespected Joel. And now these same niggas are talking about jerking off. Talking about, oh, I can't wait for the remake. Bitch, why the f would you buy the remake, nigga? Hmm? Make that make sense. You mean the niggas who f you with the sequel, you're gonna give them money for a remake of the original product that you loved? Are you f***ing goofy in the head? So we can have a reminder of the greatness that was Last of Us and how they this in the us over with Last of Us 2? You're goofy as fuck. You're goofy as Because I understand the developers, hey, everyone has a boss. Well, not everyone, but I get it. Even the owners, even the most richest person on the planet, they have a boss. And that boss is the consumer. One thing that talks is money. And that's what you have. That is your leverage when it comes to the... Yeah, honestly, this is like the first, I guess, based take on any PlayStation game I've like seen Lucas have, so... Credit where credit's due, man. Maybe the fucking uh, brainwashing is rub finally fucking rubbing off. I don't know. The gaming community. That is your leverage when it comes to Xbox or PlayStation. I don't know, man. That was a pretty uh, base take from our boy, the amazing loot. I'm glad to know, like, the fucking uh, the brainwashing is no longer in full effect. So that is kind of a W on the part of our boy. But <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Lucas is always entertaining, but I did like this video. Let's see how the like the dislikes are looking. Oh, pretty positive looking. Oh, look, here we go. Ex bussy players stay salty with no exclusives. PC gaming waits years for our exclusives. The only people whining about console wars are dumb and other such drivel as why can't we all just enjoy games usually have the pronouns in their bio and enjoy getting pegged. Their opinions are useless <laughs> and as valuable as buying Starfield on day one. Just when you think just when you think Lucas can have a fucking base take, he he just has to always fucking outdo himself, man. You know, I guess respect for that one, right? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. But yeah, the whole thing about sucking the developer's cock, I 100% agree on. Like, I do not understand why people put developers on, like, this insane fucking pedestal. Like, oh, my God, bro. <laughs> it's a real-life video game developer. Oh, my God. Like, they're not fucking celebrities. They're just people going to their fucking 9-to-5 job, dude. I don't know. But then again, I'm not a fucking, you know, celebrity dick rider. So, do be like that. Luke is better than rich. We live in a society. Very true. We do, in fact, live in a society. As the Joker taught us, right? What a wonderful movie. <laughs> Yo, what did I want to watch? Fuck. There was one other, like, big thing that went on that I wanted to watch. But I don't remember. Fuck, 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 fuck. Damn, dude. I had three things I wanted to watch after somebody recommended the Lucas show. Lucas just showed how much of a hypocrite he is. Well, I mean, obviously, bro, he's a fanboy, so. The good thing is, at least he was spitting some facts at the end, so credit where credit's due. Bayonetta 3? Bro, I do not want to watch Bayonetta 3. That game looks like fucking ass. Act, man? I mean, we can watch, like, the 50-second video, but... Oh, the Amico? I don't know if there's a video on it yet, though. That's the problem. 
I just put that in the title for everybody who was interested. But I guess we can watch the Act Man's video real quick. I don't really know what's going to be in a 50 second video that's, you know. <laughs> Chapters. Now I'm back, Rick Sitch. I've been born again. Master, hit the switch. Igor, he's alive! Bro, that music is ass. Motherfuckers, blow your horn. Just smash up, crash up. Oh my god, what the fuck was that shit, dude? <laughs> Yo, alright, I gotta I gotta put the disclaimer out here because I know some fucking loser is gonna actually take it seriously, but this is a joke. But for that video alone, his monetization should be fucking gone again. What the fuck was that shit, bro? Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, watch some fucking loser try to take that out of the car. Like, oh my god, bro. I knew it. I knew you wanted him to be demonetized. <laughs> Bruh. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. Yeah, I'm not really a big over edited fucking person, but Yeah, that music was fucking shit, dog. I don't know. I'm not a subscriber to the methodology of loud equals funny, personally. But yeah. Hitler's plan for the world if he won. <laughs> Dude, what? Fucking femboy concentration camps? Where he could go on vacation? Probably. I agree with that. Black Ops 3 was mediocre. Fluffle Nugget with the two. Why is he celebrating? Quantum still holds the crown. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he shouldn't have been fucking demonetized, plain and simple. But, yeah, it is what it is. <clears throat> Quantum still took the W, that's for fucking sure. Said Griffin, he listens to autism music. Set. Boom. I have AUT. ISM. I have AUT. ISM. Autism. Don't be scared of me. Don't be scared of me. Because <laughs> we're the same. You and me. There we go. Yeah, I do listen to the autism song. Do you have a problem with it? Are you autism phobic? Are you a spectrum phobe? <laughs> DSP next. Has he done anything? I got to get off soon. This is how you don't devour... DSP slow night times two plus slow day. <laughs> oh god. To play the, game. the good news is He's got that fucking uh eight hundred fifty dollar bill due and what it's his day off today, I think, right? Because of your support this week, I raised enough funds to pay those two major bills I was telling you about a couple days ago. Oh fuck. Um so I'm good to go there. Now, everything today, tomorrow and Tuesday, my remaining streams of the week, anything that I raise on my streams goes towards my day off on Wednesday, pays for things like groceries, things that I need for around the home, any, anything I need for Jasper this week, which I have no idea what we need for Jasper this week. I didn't even look yet. Uh, a meal with my wife, one meal out of the house a week that I have with my wife so we don't have to cook. All that stuff is paid for with tips. So tonight, if you... Thank God, man. You know, the literal fucking bankrupt still needs to go out for his $150 dinner with his wife every week. 
you know, pay for his mistakes, everyone. Like the stream if you're enjoying yourself. And if you're thinking of contributing to support my streams and my content here on the internet, which is free, uh, I would ask if you could to please tip. If you can't, that's fine. If you want to contribute in another way, like a super chat, a super sticker, uh, a membership, a gifted membership, that's all great. I'm certainly not looking to give to us in the mouth. I'm just saying if you have the ability to choose how you would contribute, please tip. That would help in the short term very, very much. Okay? I don't like putting my problems on you, but you are the people who crowdfund me. You're my source of income. So I do have to kind of lean on you from time to time when fucked up stuff happens. So, one hour left on the stream. Again, guys, if you like the content, if you support my streams, please tip me tonight if you can. I'm not asking for you to go by, above, beyond your means. I'm not asking for you to go crazy. Uh, but if you were going to contribute and you would like to help out the most for my day off on Wednesday, please tip. It would be great if we could. So speaking of which, someone said, did you ever hit any goals with this game? It would be great to at least hit the tier one goal tonight if we could. Thank you. It really would be great. <clears throat> you know, people need to help support DSP. He is a fucking national treasure. And send the madman with the two. I have crippling autism. Don't be scared of me. I am literally pissing my pants right now in straight terror at the announcement of said fact. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think I can ever look at you the same without just feeling like literally in fear of my life. Honestly, bro. Nothing sends me into a state of pure panic like autism. I can't stop being a fairy. I can't stop being a fairy. Saber in with a two no griff. You don't have the A pass. That's our word. Fuck you. Um, and it was an anonymous thirty-one dollar tip. Thank you very much to the anonymous thirty-one dollar tipper. They're basically giving me a private message here. I've never run into this thing before. What is it? A money creature? Yeah, look, it's a money creature. It just throws money around. <laughs> what the hell was that? And next time around, it's the likely conclusion of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. Thank you all. And especially to that anonymous tipper at the very end there. Very <laughs> generous tip. Thank you so much. But in the short term, the best way for you to help me right now is by tipping me. Uh, the good news is I did raise enough in the last week to pay my big bills, which should have been clearing as of this morning. I didn't confirm that. Uh, but <clears throat> everything that I raise via tips for the rest of this streaming week, today and tomorrow, goes towards my day off on Wednesday. On Wednesday, when I'm off, I'll be doing various different things, including grocery shopping, buying some supplies for my cat Jasper, also buying some things for around the home that we're running low on, and possibly, if I can afford it, having a meal out with my wife, which I like doing because I literally eat every other meal at home, home-cooked, for the rest of the week. That's literally all I've eaten for the past couple weeks, is home-cooked food. And I'm not $500,000 in debt. It's almost like eating at home really isn't that big of a fucking deal. Which, from a recovering Uber Eats addict myself, Phil, which I know you're in the same boat, you don't really miss it that much. Actually, I'm pretty confused right now. Oh, uh, Mango says in one minute, man, you should talk to- Yeah, but bro, Uber Eats, though, for real, like, it is, especially if you do kind of like what I do, which is, I guess, grind out 24-7, hell yeah, Sigma mindset, but- it's just so fucking convenient. Like, literally, you just have food show up. You don't have to waste time, like, preparing shit, you know, <laughs> cleaning up or anything. You just can keep, like, working on whatever you're fucking working on, and then the food shows up, and then you just throw out the fucking, like, packaging. I don't know. It is convenient, but it's expensive. He uses DoorDash, though. Same fucking shit, bro during the marathons. No, One Minute Man never spoke in chat. The only time One Minute Man ever spoke directly to me was actually in his tips. Sometimes he would leave a message, like, happy birthday or something like that. That was about it. Anyone you've ever seen, <clears throat> like, in the chat, um, that said they were the him, they're lying. It's an impersonator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because apparently One Minute Man is literally Phil. There has not been a contribution in over an hour. During the break, there was a $25 tip from One Minute Man. You are a liar. A dirty, filthy liar. If you have the option to contribute in one of the ways that, you know, financially supports the streams, all right, and you have the choice between the methods of contribution, for example, a membership, a super chat, a super sticker, a gifted membership, all right, <clears throat> I would ask that if you could, for today or tomorrow, please tip me. Here's why. Wednesday's my day off. 
All my big bills are clearing or have cleared. I think one of them is supposed to clear today. I don't know if it's cleared yet. So all funds I'm raising now are for my day off on Wednesday. That's right. Pay me so I can go fucking do whatever the fuck I want. You know, work a job so I don't have to. Basically, is DSP's entire fucking motto. Go to work, earn money, and give it to me so I don't have to. Grocery shopping, buying supplies for my cat Jasper, having a nice meal out with my wife are some of the things that I like to do on my day off and is directly your tips that fund that effort. Oh, hello. Mr. Gout! I'm Mr. Gout. <laughs> nice. The master of the Last time I played this, I didn't know I had gout. I played this in 2014. I wasn't diagnosed with gout until uh, 2015. So I didn't know. No one would have made fun of me at this time for this guy's name being Mr. Gout. Now, <laughs> everyone's gonna laugh and make hilarious jokes at my expense saying that Mr. Gout is in the game and you have gout. You have the horrible debilitating disease, Phil, so let's laugh at you. Ha! Ha! I have to- No, that's alright, bro. You got that special cherry juice, remember. Drink cherry juice. Tart cherry juice. <laughs> oh shit, there's the clip. Juice. Every day. Why? Because I have a, bl a blood- uh, a, excuse me, a uric acid level condition in my blood. It's called gout. We got about 50 minutes left. This stream ends at 4 p.m. like usual, all right? Um, again, it would be great if uh, you could contribute in any way. I'm appreciative of it, but the best way to help me right now is via tips, okay? Tips are going to help me directly for my day off tomorrow. Um, thank you for those who did contribute, and we hit the $50 tips goal, but then we froze with tips and haven't had one in from the stream in two hours. The last tip we actually got was from uh, Saul Martinez. I take that back because that was a little over an hour ago when I came back from break, all right? Again, if we raise $200 or $100 in tips, it's a hat. You can put on a hat for me to wear for the rest of the stream, and it sure would be great if we could hit that. Um, it's weird that if- Yeah, I need that money, dude, so I can go spend it on my day off. Froze like it did, okay? Um, all right. Yeah, why, why are people just throwing fucking money at me? Help! <laughs> um, the best way to contribute would be to tip me. Reason being is, Wednesday's my day off, okay? Any tips I'm raising right now, real talk, straight up, honesty, are paying for my day off on Wednesday. Groceries, things for Jasper Kitty, other things that are needed around the house, and of course, uh, uh you know, a meal with my wife once a week that we get to do that, okay? So, <laughs> it sure would be great if you like my content, if you would tip me tonight. Um, in addition, earlier today I played Fable Anniversary. Um, didn't DSP acting poor while having the king's disease. Yeah, that was the thing is apparently he literally used to go and eat like at fucking steakhouses and everything every single night. Like just spending extravagant amounts of money on food. And that's where all of his fucking YouTube earnings went in his earlier days. Didn't go as well as I was hoping. Uh, honestly, with the amount of people who were claiming that they really wanted to see this game, uh, viewership tapered off really quickly uh, and contributions were quite slow. So, I don't know what's happening with that. People said they wanted it. It was number two in the viewer's choice, and people screamed at me that they wanted it, and they were upset it didn't win the poll. Uh, sometimes you just can't tell. I don't know what else to say. So, it so be be basically, DSP made $25 in two hours before tax. Why is this dude still fucking doing this shit? Go get a fucking job. Like, you could manage a fucking Wendy's and make more money than that. You could go work at Target and make more money than that. Like, what the fuck is he doing? I don't get this shit at all, man. It's just pitiful. Like, if DSP literally just went and worked, like, even five or six hours a day at, like, a fucking part-time job, earned money enough to pay his fucking bills, and then came home and did one big stream at night, he would probably make a fuck ton more money overall. Like, his overall earnings from YouTube probably would not change at all. Like, it literally would basically double his income, but no, he's too fucking lazy. He holds on to this fool's hope that, you know, he can recover his YouTube career and, you know, just sit at home for the rest of his life playing video games on stream. It'd be great to have a good night tonight with Street Fighter slash Vampire Savior slash Gem Fighter to help make up for that slower day, all right? I think he's dropping my inputs. Oh, that sucks, man. There's nothing I can do right now. Look at this. One hit, because I can't get anything fine. Oh god! Oh, that's unplayable, man. <laughs> oh my god, stop freezing! I can't concentrate when it freezes constantly. Oh my god! <laughs> this is bullshit. 
This is bullshit. There's no way you can play it like that. You can't play that. It freezes every two, three seconds. Griffin, he gets drenched in sweat walking to the mailbox. You think he can work? Oh, true, man. He has a real disability. I forgot. Sloth. You can't consistently pay attention to what's going on in the match, man. DSP is like the fucking embodiment of the sin of sloth. There we go. Perfect description for our boy DSP. What a terrible connection. That's fun rollback netcode, right guys? Let's all applaud that rollback netcode. Salt. That's all you taste is salt. Can't I If you can, please support. Right now, I've got three dollars in tips, and that's it. And I'm already twenty-five percent through tonight's stream. Already earlier today was a very slow support. Holy shit, dude! Twenty-five percent done. Stream for Fable, so it sure would be great. We can get that picking up a little bit. Um, particular tips because uh, Tuesday or excuse me, Wednesday is my day off, and all your tips are what pay for my day off. It'll be great. Uh, to get some more support tonight, if possible. I'm just saying again. That's right. Go work so I don't have to. And then pay me for my day off. And there's rewards for tipping. If we hit those tips, go. See, if he was a normal human being in his situation, instead of going out to eat or, you know, buying a bunch of frivolous shit, he would take the money that he would spend on his day off and put it towards next month's expenses. So that way he doesn't have to fucking beg for two weeks straight. Oh, wait, that'd be bad for business, so... Never mind. That would interfere with the whole fucking grift. I just like it has to be people who want to fuck with this guy, like mentally, that give him money at this point. Like I am convinced that there are like literally people out there who get some sort of like sexual pleasure from watching this dude beg like a fucking bum on the side of the road. Like it brings them some sort of sick pleasure to just prolong this cycle. Of just pitiful behavior. And you know what? I kind of have to respect that to some degree. Chug aside with the five when God flooded the earth. Out of disgust. All he saw was DSP. Very true, man. Very fucking true. And SNK nostalgia with the two DSP runs on Windows 8. <laughs> yeah. He refused to upgrade to Windows 10 because it's too complicated, dude. Well, earlier, you get those rewards for long. See? Thank you in advance to anyone who contributes in any way. Paseo did a giant $30 tip. She thanks money, creature. I didn't know there was a creature that actually gave money and was called as such, but I appreciate that. Right. I'm gonna move, move. He walks forward and throws me, which you can't do. Not what I did. Smoke show with the two snort. Brunel makes more off YouTube than DSP does. Yeah, I could honestly see that. Not including the tips, but yeah, off of ad revenue, definitely. He gets way more views. Oh my god! Oh my god! It keeps dropping my inputs when I've won the round already. I already had the round run and twice the move didn't come out because of the shit ass fucking netcode. Oh my god. Terrible ass fucking netcode ruined, ruined me. All you're getting is salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Um, I am going to send out a tweet only because earlier today we had such- Oh god, the fucking tweet. A slow, uh, a slow fable stream and now we've had 33 bucks tonight and that's it. And it seems to only be two people who contributed all night. I'm going to see if maybe we can get some more. I don't know. But let me quickly send out a tweet and a, a post to the channel. Give me <laughs> monies. So we've had no, no luck on Xbox, but we are again getting consistent matches in the Capcom fighting collection on PS5 tonight. However, support is very slow all day so far. So if you can swing by and help out, please do. And thanks. Okay. You know, I tried to hold down this- And remember- That's not begging. That's advertisement. As long as I could, but if we now are down to the last streaming hour of the day, yeah. Smoke show with the two snore Brunel mix- Wait, fuck. No double dipping. 
As a game, the soldier with the two, his Ken sucks. No style. Yeah, I, I'm not one to judge on fighting games, but <laughs> he's not as good as he thinks he is from what I have gathered. I don't know, man. It's just so fucking sad. I gotta, gotta try to do something. Okay. He doesn't want to have to send out the tweet, guys, but he's still going to do it. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm paranoid, anxious, and nervous. So most of the people who give him a lot of money is actually people who are handicapped people and people who get off by saying, I'm better than you by giving him hundreds of dollars. It has to be something like that, honestly. Like, it's got to be some weird fucking thing where they just want to keep watching this dude fucking suffer. So they just keep giving him money so it prolongs the fucking dumpster fire. It keeps stuffing me. Now he just filed Tommy Buster, nothing I can do about it. <clears throat> this blast keeps stuffing everything I do. I don't want this, man. Give me this blue by accident. Oh, I don't have a super. No wonder he didn't come out. Oh my god, I don't have super again! Something kept draining my super against this guy. I don't know if it was- Oh my god! Or, or his hits, because I couldn't get super. Every time I was like, oh, it's time for a final atomic buster, I never had meter, so I could never get it, so right? Considering we have almost 300 people on the stream, I know you guys are enjoying yourselves, you wouldn't be here, right? Please, again, I would ask if you are enjoying yourselves, if you could contribute, I would appreciate it, considering the fact that today was already a slower day. All funds are going to my day off on Wednesday, so any tips would be greatly appreciated. Or hell, any contributions at all, we got no super chats, no members- And SK Nostalgia with the two is- <laughs> His chat is harsh. Oh, yeah. Very, I mean, that's the thing is most people watching DSP at this point are just hate watching him. Almost no one actually enjoys his content anymore. He probably has like tens of viewers that legitimately like his content that watch his streams. The majority of people watching are just there to watch the fucking shit show. Ships and two tips all night. So, not good. DSP. Keep coasting, bud. It'll, it'll be all right. <laughs> Keep coasting, brother. Yeah. And Oski Waski with the two DSP. Let's go. Also, what's up, gamers? Mexico lit. Awesome, man. Glad you're having a good time down there. Here, let me uh, hit you with the. Yeah, I'm a gamer! But yeah, DSP. Hopefully, he had a great day off. I'm sure he did. <laughs> Although he didn't get as much money as he was hoping for. Unfortunate. I just really wonder what DSP's like home life is like. Like, what are the interactions between him and his wife like? I just cannot imagine DSP being like romantic or intimate with anyone. It's just like it goes against every thought in my head. Like, I could see other people like, you know flirting or like hanging out with their wife or so like bro i just cannot imagine dsp doing it i just feel like he literally would have like his hands in the po his pocket the whole time like looking like the most uncomfortable man in the room and just barely even fucking making eye contact like when they're at dinner they just sit on their fucking phones he's playing like wwe champions she's checking facebook or some shit i don't know that's just how i picture it. i just cannot imagine dsp having any sort of intimate relationship with anyone. Like that one time Dreamcast guy was playing his Switch at a bonfire with other people. Yeah. 
I don't know, but I can't stand people. Like if you're going out to eat or something and the first thing they do when they sit down is like they pull out their fucking phone, but that shit's so obnoxious. It's like, what is the fucking point of going out to eat, sitting down and like fucking, I, I don't, I hate that shit so much. I don't pull out my phone when I go out to eat. Especially if there's somebody else with, it's just like, I don't know. You're there to have the experience and like actually fucking socialize with the people you're going to eat with. But I don't know. It's really fucking annoying. That's a red flag, by the way, guys. If you go on a date with a chick and she never fucking puts her phone down, run. SNK nostalgia with the two. I wish him the best of eye contact. <laughs> yeah, for real. He probably struggles with that. I, I don't know. Like, bro, the weirder thing would be is think about DSP having sex, bro. Like, I literally can't imagine it. I can't. Like, I no matter how hard I try to imagine DSP taking a bitch to pound town, I literally could not picture it. I just imagine. <laughs> like, that's it, dude. I don't know. I, I just can't fucking... I cannot picture DSP in any sort of intimate moment with anyone. It just it it just doesn't fucking register. This is the saltiness. What the hell? She was wide open and it whipped. See what I mean? The neck is so abysmally bad, she gets away with a bunch of shit. Yes, yes, for real. We saw that meter. Beautiful. SNK nostalgia with the two. I went to the dentist and talked to people. Oh shit. Yeah, that's the thing that always pisses me off about going to the dentist. It's like they'll start asking me all these fucking questions when they're literally like scraping the shit out of my teeth. I'm like, bro, I can't fucking talk. What the fuck are you asking me questions for? Wow, oh bullshit. You're a really special move. Can't block, see that? So she does a random special move. I can't do anything to it because I can't block it because of the delayed reaction. She jumps. Okay. I go to, to, to cross up my block. Her jump lands and she's already attacking before the game. Guys, we've got about 20 minutes left. I want to say thank you to everyone who chilled with me tonight. Again, if you were enjoying yourself, you had a good time, please like the stream. And anyone who could contribute last minute, it would very much be appreciated. Um, but I don't know if that's going to happen at this point. As you can see, uh, it's been an incredibly slow day here for me. I don't know why. I don't know why today was such a <laughs> slow day in general. Because all the piggies already gave you the fucking money when you were begging for your bills. No 360. I, just, I can't get a 360 on this guy at all. The game will literally not give me one. And now I can't get some clothes on. What the fuck? It won't give you the move I'm doing against this guy. He's just mashing. Look at that. What? He did a fireball. I did a spinning clothesline which beats fireball. The fireball hit my spinning clothesline. And I lost. Whatever. Fuck this. Thank you, Lane, for a $20 super chase. It's still as a man. Alright, great. Pretty much shut him down. All right. I guess that is going to be it, guys, for tonight. Good stuff. At first, when I started streaming it, views were great. Engagement <laughs> was great. Everyone was excited. Within two hours of me playing it, basically, we had lost half the viewership. Engagement was incredibly low. People stopped engaging with the stream in any, in any way. And essentially, what happened was I was playing it, and I looked back at the stream chat. No one's tagging me. No one's talking to me. Everyone in stream chat has literally taken that discussion away from the game and is off talking about their own private conversations about this. <laughs> How dare the chat not talk about me and only me. Zong Xena with the two. You've seen the DSP animation. It's pretty. Yeah, I've seen that. Yup. Sells no other news and shit has nothing to do with the stream at all. So essentially I'm playing a game here, right? And trying to get, you know, learn the ropes. Here. SNK nostalgia with the two. I got something to say. I bartended today. Awesome, man. Did you get some nice tips? Hopefully. I feel like bartenders probably make fucking bank. Especially these days. People tip like crazy, I feel like. Especially compared to like 10 years ago. But no idea. You know, enjoy it. <clears throat> and I turn back and literally everyone on stream is doing something else. That's disheartening, you know. And quite frankly, it makes me wonder if this playthrough is going to work. I'm just being honest. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, maybe we'll do it. Oh, he's already fucking wage quitting. Unfortunate for Fable. 
more time and see and, and go from there. But from the initial reaction, people didn't seem too blown away by it. Some people were like, oh, Halo, or Halo, excuse me. Oh, Fable, this is uh, this is interesting and good for my childhood. And then when that gimmick wore off, no one was even talking to me anymore. There was one point I didn't understand how to map magic. So I turned to my chat and I said, guys, I need some help. Can someone help me? Like two minutes past, no one says a word about it. It's like I'm not here. I'm like, wow, <laughs> that's pathetic, quite frankly. How dare you not carry me through the fucking game I'm supposed to be playing, chat? Fuck you. Um, and I don't know if it's the game. I don't know if it's just the part of the game. <clears throat> Keep in mind the last time that I played Halo Anniversary, I was a different kind of content creator. There was zero interaction with my live audience, okay? So it was just me playing the game for myself. Today, the whole point of me streaming is that I'm an interactive content creator. You guys are a part of the of this entertaining interactive process, and the, and the product that I'm putting out is because you guys are helping me with things, and we're having a conversation about the game or whatever, right? That's the whole idea. That's why I'm playing this game a second time. If not, I already played it once eight years ago. Why am I replaying it in 2022? It wouldn't even make sense to be replaying this game if it's identical to the last playthrough. So I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that was very disheartening for me. Um... I thought that this was going to be a fun day where people were going to be excited for a new playthrough and rally. And instead, after halfway through the, the stream, people are bored. That's not good, okay? And SDK Nostalgia with the two, I get tipped almost like you. Nice, man. So you're doing fairly well for yourself. Congrats. Yeah, I've always wondered, like, bartenders make a shit ton of money. The motherfucker... All right, so do you guys want to know, like, the best retail job ever? If you can work at, like, one of those fucking, like, Gucci stores or whatever. I was talking to the guy who worked there when I went to Atlanta. And I asked him, like, yo, is it true that y'all get 6% commission? He's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, shit. <laughs> How much do you typically make a day, if you don't mind me asking? And he goes, like, anywhere from... 600 to 3,000 fucking dollars. It just depends on how much people want to spend that day. So, if you guys are in retail and think you're cut out for it, and you live in a big city, you might want to try to get a fucking job at, like, the Gucci store because apparently those motherfuckers are making bank, dude. Like, they can clear, like, 400 grand a year just from commission like it's fucking wild because they get six percent of all the sales they make which is really fucking good <laughs> like it's crazy plus you get free shit so there's also that perk okay oh my god he's drinking gin gin is great <laughs> now what happens when people are disengaged and, and bored contributions don't happen at all either and that's exactly what happened. Um, we basically raised exactly 50 bucks in tips. And then there was no other contribution. There was a good two hour span where not a single person contributed to the stream. You know, what can I do? I, I don't know. It, it wasn't just me. It was, it was people just weren't engaged in this game at all. Contributions and support. Well, we, I think at the, by the tail end of the stream, I'm pretty sure we either hit 100 likes or real close. Engagement? Well, we have a good amount of people. We have between two, 300 people. s and Nostalgia with the two retail is absolutely bullshit. Yeah, but if you're getting paid that much, I would work in fucking retail. Like, honestly, I'd probably be pretty good working at the Gucci store, to be completely honest, because I know about all the shit, but that's beside the point. I mean, that's, like, fucking crazy money, dude. Like, in Atlanta, too, um, one of the producers for, like, when I was in the store, one of the producers for fucking uh, Little John was in there, and he dropped the fucking bag, bro. He was buying, like, five pairs of shoes. It was like, shit. And he bought a backpack, which I'm kind of jealous because I want the fucking backpack. But, yeah. How much does the manager make? Uh, I don't know, but you definitely want to be making the sales commission, I feel like. But no clue. I don't know. But that's pretty fucking wild. They can make a fucking fortune depending on how many people go in there and how much people spend. All night. Um, and when people, you know, in between the matches were able to talk to me, they did. So I would say engagement was good. Support, again, almost non-existent. We raised, I think, 30 bucks in tips, and there was one super chat all night, um, and that was it. <clears throat> it was as if today was the complete and polar opposite of the rest of the week up to now, where everyone was happy, engaged, liking the content, having fun with it. Today seemed to be the opposite. I don't know what happened. Like, it wasn't like there was a change in attitude. You know what I mean? Everything seems fine, and you just have a slow day. So maybe that's all it is. Maybe it's just a bad day. I don't want to write off Fable as a playthrough because I played it once, and that one time people were disengaged. He's not going to fucking wage quit. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, it very much could be because, again, it was the intro or, I don't know, just bad timing. I don't know. Uh, now, I got a favor to ask. For those of you who are going to be here live on the streams tomorrow, 
If you can, please support with tips. After having a slow day today and already I was trying to raise enough for my day off. I'm please give me money. I want, I want to go play WWE, man. Wednesday. Now I'm actually nervous. If this happens again tomorrow, I won't have enough for my day off on Wednesday. I'm, I'm <gasps> oh my god. A new crisis has emerged. I have to skimp and penny pinch again. Yeah, I'm going to get off after this video. I'm about to go to work there. I got one in a huge mall. That's go for it, man. Hell yeah. I mean, it's pretty fucking crazy. I know this one makes like 500. There was 600 a night and like 1,000 a night on the weekend. Who, like a bartender? Yeah, no, they make fucking bank, dude. I don't know. Maybe I went into the wrong field. Do you think tipping is a scam? I think it isn't. Eh, I don't think so. I don't really care. Like if somebody gives you good service, then you pay for it. It's not a big deal. Because then when you go back, they treat you well. Like, that's the thing, like... Fuck. If you do ever go to a bar, whenever you order your first drink, make sure to tip generously. Because then the bartender will treat you good for the rest of the night. Again, which will be terrible, you know? I did that two weeks ago. Uh, and it sucks. It sucks living like this paycheck to paycheck. It does. I don't like this, alright? It's not anyone's fault. It's just... Support has kind of slowed down in the last couple of months on streams. Why? Because there's no new releases. So the people who would come in for the new release element aren't there. Um, inflation is killing everyone. I know that. It's killing me too. I used to go to the grocery store and spend a certain amount. Now I'm, no exaggeration, spending at least 50% more on a grocery run than I used to. That's not an over-exaggeration. That's truth. I could look at Well, Phil, with those living conditions, maybe you shouldn't go out to eat. Uh, SNK Nostalgia with the two. Retail, no power, bartender, cut off. If they suck, eh, fair enough. Fair enough. Cost to cost, what I used to spend, what I spend now, I'm buying the same shit. It's 50% more expensive, okay? <clears throat> so I get it. I'm certainly not sitting here and I'm not going to complain. I'm just saying, if you can tomorrow, if you're already going to come to stream and you were thinking of supporting, if you could tip me tomorrow, it would be great. Those tips will go directly to my day off on Wednesday. Okay. I love how he thinks that inflation only affects him, though. Like, he's expecting people to give him as much money as they used to, even though inflation is a factor for everybody. So maybe everyone else doesn't have as much money. I don't know, man. As long as you know with the two, I don't know how you survive a nine to five staying up like this. I don't know, man. I'm just fucking built different. What can I say? I didn't choose the gaming lifestyle. The gaming lifestyle chose me. But yeah, I'm going to have to hop off after this video. Okay. So thank you in advance. It would be great, especially to come back from today where things were very slow. I don't know why. Um, Now, as for Fable, I don't want to give up on it yet. All right. We only just started. So, my day off is Wednesday. I won't be here. I'm sure you guys will probably get caught up on all my stuff. When I come back on Thursday, I'm going to give Fable another shot as a mainstream. Okay? We'll see together. Will it survive? Will it withstand? Will it be something people want to see long term? If we have exactly the same attitudes for Fable on Thursday, I might just drop it. I never <laughs> promised it. It came in second in the viewer's choice poll. We may just drop it and do something else. There's still this back here. There goes the fucking wage quit, man. But yeah, I am going to hop off, guys. Appreciate everybody for stopping by.